Well, this is the uh, cloning unit that I built. Um, as you can see, it's kind of ugly looking right now. I've still got to paint the top black. Um, most of this is gleamed off of a bunch of research over the last year, just looking at different stuff on uh, YouTube and websites. Uh, the inserts are the easier cloner inserts. Um, and a standard 2 inch net pot with the bottom clipped off to be a collar. Had a hard time finding an exact match to drill the hole out with a hole saw. Um, the net pot's like a 2 inch net pot, right? 2 inch hole saw. <laughs> the 2 inch net pot doesn't actually fit in there nicely, so I could file it, but I'm not gonna. Um, but it works out perfectly. I'm, my, my, uh, my idea was to develop a system or all the systems that I build to be, you know, scalable and uh, low cost and um, enable me and my wife to uh, grow whatever we want to grow and be able to do it with minimal expense and be, uh, be good for the planet. And this should enable us to get several grows or clones or whatever out of each one of these instead of having to buy a, a net pot for each one. Um, that's my dog's toy. <laughs> There it is. Um, inside, uh, hopefully I can get a good view of this, is the uh, irrigation array that I built. Um, you can see I've got a, got a little overboard with the air stones. I've got four coming in. Um, everywhere I've heard they say basically you can't have enough oxygen. So. Um, those are easy cloner spray heads. Um, the end, the top, most of this unit actually, the, the big idea came from a Sure to Grow video, so thanks to Sure to Grow. Um, they haven't posted the video yet, it was a mistake that I got a sneak preview on and they brought it down, <laughs> down before they, uh, before I got to see it, so, or I mean after I got to see it, so, but um, most of the homegrown irrigation arrays for aeroponics uh, are similar to this. This one was like my first incarnation and uh, the top allows, that valve on the top allows you to do top drip if you want to and the right and left valves allow you, uh, next to the center T, allow you to control the rate of flow and as you can see it's barely flowing right now. It looks kind of kind of silly but um, that's just because I don't want to spray it all over the table. And then at the end of each line I've got a 90, another valve and a 90 going down and that basically is just a, um, you can see those Right over in there, and right there, and that's the uh, to prevent uh, pressure lock or pressure buildup and excessive wear on the pump. And I don't want the pump to last as long as possible. So um, those enable me to essentially set the flow at the right height, where where it's going to hit the, the root structures um, with the best coverage. And uh, the ones I'm building now, I've built a couple other ones. Um, are completely different than this. Um, I'll shoot a video of those. They're very similar, but they're a little bit simpler. Um, I found that this was a little over-engineered and um, didn't quite need to be like that. But top will go on. I still have to draw out the holes for the lines and the sides and stuff for the power cable and the water pump and mess on the table. But um, this is uh, the cloner setup that I've got set up. 24 two-inch net pots with foam inserts set in the top. And we'll be able to do just about anything. We're getting ready to, to start going here and grow some spinach and some celery and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, but I've been promising the video to some friends, and here it is. I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, feel free to post. Uh, let me know what they are. I'll be happy to, to uh, um, respond to them and answer them as best I can. Or maybe even point you to some people that I've found on, on the web and YouTube that might be able to help you out. But again, i just like to send a... a I thank you out to Sure to Grow this, the tub design or the tub and the, the basic design, along with other people on YouTube that have been watching, all contributed to this this particular design, um, and I really appreciate their input and uh, their ideas. Thanks a lot.